This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From your artistic portfolio to an online shop, make it with Squarespace. Once upon a time, I drew this goofy, silly, simple little horse. And by once upon a time, I mean in last week's video. I fell in love with this silly little horse. You all fell in love with this silly little horse. And we all had a collective question of, what if I drew more animals in this silly little horse style? You already know what I'm doing by the title of this video, but I am going to be drawing over 100 silly little animals in the style of this silly little horse. So I started off by doodling more of these animals on stream because I love the simplicity of this horse. And I thought, just like you guys, I thought this little guy would be super cute as a sticker, but I couldn't just have one silly little animal sticker. I had to have a whole collective of them. And the more animals I drew, the more that I was going to like, because I don't know about you guys, I could draw, for example, like in this video, over a hundred drawings and not even love half of them. And if I wanted to create a sticker sheet full of these silly little animals, I was going to have to draw more animals than I needed for the sticker sheet to actually love the animals on the sticker sheet. I don't want to be selling mediocre doo-doo drawings that I don't absolutely love. If I'm going to sell a product on my shop, I want to love it. And if that means I have to draw over a hundred animals to get 20 I love, then gosh darn it, I'm going to draw over a hundred animals. So like I said, I started to doodle these animals on stream. These were just super simple and fun. Obviously, the more stupid they looked, the funnier they were, and the more fun I had drawing them. I started off with some basics. Obviously the first one I drew was a cat. I love drawing cats, you guys know that. And from there I was doing a mix of animals I knew I wanted to draw and also taking suggestions from my chat. I wanted to make sure I got some very basic animals in, horse, frog, bunny. And I've been on this earth for a few years. I know there are hundreds of different animals. And by different animals, I mean, you have frog type and then there's different frogs. But okay, let me explain. Really wanted to make sure that I got the basic, I guess, body type animals done, for example. And you guys are gonna love this. My chat loved hearing me talk about my stupid brain thinking. For example, we have a horse, right? A horse has a certain body body type. So if I were to draw, say, a zebra, I feel like it would be the same exact drawing, but with stripes instead of brown, if that makes sense. I think donkeys are cute. They're like big headed horses. But again, if I'm going to simplify a donkey into very simple shapes like the horse, it would just look like the horse. There are a couple of exceptions in this drawing, the corgi and the hairless cat to be specific. If you gave money in my chat, I, f I just felt kind of obligated to draw your, your suggestions. So that's why there's two cats. <laughs> and now that I think about it, the corgi is the only domesticated dog that I drew. So whoops. I think a lot of people have this weird misconception about really simple and cute art being, well, easy to draw, which technically, yes, compared to a more complex drawing, there is less to do. And not only easier to draw, but just less desired. When I posted on Twitter and Instagram, which art style of horse was your art style, a lot of people said the number one horse and were kind of sad about it. But to be honest, the number one horse is the most popular design I had. So tell me what's wrong with having the most simple art style. It's clearly the most popular. But when it came to these very simple, silly illustrations of animals, I really had to start focusing on the features of the animal, different ways to exaggerate them, but also keeping those details and those features looking like the animal. Doing that while also trying to keep the designs very simple was very hard. And you will notice as I draw these animals, there are definitely animals that have, I would say more than a level one horse of detail. I wouldn't say there's a level two horse of detail, but there's definitely more detail on some of these animals that I would not include on the level one horse because it was too many details. But I really wanted the animals to look like the animals, so I felt like more details were included to achieve what the animal looked like. And also, I had to really think about if I wanted all of these animals to be as simple as the horse. I'm talking a circle body with four stick legs and a head. I feel like a lot of the animals would start looking exactly the same, so I just wanted to make sure that with these stickers, there was variety. I didn't want you to buy a sticker sheet of a bunch bunch of stick animals. I wanted there to be some variety and some fun in their design. So are some of them a little bit more detailed than I would have liked? Yes. Are they cute? 
Yes, and that's what matters, I think. You want a website, but you don't know how to make one. I'm so glad you asked. Let me introduce you to Squarespace. That's right, the sponsor of this video. I have a website, but that's just because Squarespace did all of the work. With their flexible website templates, you can get started with one of their professional website designs. Customize it, update it. This is my art portfolio. Look at it. You can look at all my art. Or, or don't look. With a members area, you can monetize your content and lock away exclusive pages. Do I have a secret page? You'll never know. I don't. But I do have an online store. Whether you're selling physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Casey Golden to save 10% off your first purchase of a website. <gasps> That's right, cheese. Save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. Moving on to our second batch of 50 plus animals. You might be thinking I created a different batch so that as you viewed this time lapse, the animals didn't get so small that you couldn't see what I was doing. But nope, the file actually got so big that Procreate kept crashing. So I had to create another file, which is fine. It so perfectly was able to fit half of the animals I wanted to draw on it. So moving on to our second batch of animals, I definitely felt like I got most of your run of the mill animals out of the way. And what does that mean? Honestly, I don't know. When I think of animals, I think dog, cat, horse, squirrel in your backyard. I think of things that I am used to seeing a lot of. Now, whether or not this means animals that are local to where I live or just animals that are used in the children's alphabet video games. Animals that you're used to seeing a lot of. But I felt like I was sort of running out of those basic animals and I was starting to run into more complex or unfamiliar animals. Also animals that I felt like I really needed to include features for you to know what they were. For example, the warthog. I love this drawing of a warthog, but warthogs are known to have these very large cheeks. I drew a pig right above it. Those are very similar animals that you would think would be in the same sort of body type that I wouldn't redraw them. But look, they're, they're quite different. One's got tusks, one's got pointy ears, one's got a very weirdly shaped body. So this set of animals definitely has, I think, less simple features. These guys are a little bit more complex compared to the first round and that's okay. You also might notice there's definitely more birds on this page as I was trying to rack my brain of the different types of animals in the world. I kept coming back to birds and I know this totally contradicts what I was saying earlier about making one drawing of an animal and just sort of mashing the features of the different types together. Birds are just so different. Birds are crazy. Some have little beaks, some have huge beaks, some have little tails, some can fly, some can't. Birds are crazy and you know what? Maybe I'm being biased because I love drawing birds because they are so bizarre looking. It was also at this point that I was thinking to myself, if I wanted to create a sticker sheet of these adorable little animals, how many sticker sheets am I going to create? Because I love a lot of these doodles. I started to think about maybe creating different sticker sheets for the different types of animals. And then I started to think I have barely drawn any ocean animals, any aquatic fish or watery things like whales dolphins, sea turtles. Now there are some animals that I just refused to draw because they were too small. Fish, for example. I drew a couple of fish just to throw them in there and fill in some space. I also didn't draw any bugs because I just felt like a level one drawing of say, for example, an ant would be three circles and six lines. There would be no coloring. It would all be line work and it would just be too goofy. Also a snake. I was not going to draw a snake because it's just so silly. It looks like a worm, but at the end of the day, I had to draw a snake. And the snake is a perfect example of, I know lots of different snakes exist, but I'm just going to draw this long thing with a head and call it a snake. And there you go. What kind of snake is it? I don't know. It could literally be any kind of snake. So there it is. I think at the end of the day, I drew 
109 different animals? Is it 110? I don't know, who can count? Not me. I absolutely love a lot of these little guys, sticker sheets to come in my shop eventually. It's gonna be really hard deciding on which ones to go with, but I will say, here are, in no particular order, my favorites. Enjoy them as they go by the screen. And again, a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Draw your own little guys. These guys were so much fun to draw. Look how cute they are. Okay, bye.